What is our first message today? All right, first one up is from Mike. Hey, John, Paramount released a trailer for Dora and the Lost City of Gold movie. What are your thoughts on the trailer? Yeah, no big surprise that they're doing a Dora movie. I mean, a lot of people, I, I did open mic this weekend and I had a whole bunch of people ask me, they're doing a Dora movie. Why? Well, I'll, I'll tell you why. The, the property's worth almost $20 billion. <laughs> I mean, that's why. It's a very, very popular IP, a high brand recognition, all that kind of stuff. The entire generation of kids kind of grew up with it. It's really no surprise that they have done this. So they made the movie, perfectly fine idea to make it. I heard Michael Pena got cast in it. That's always a good thing. I don't know much about the young girl that they, that they cast to put in the film with them, so that was neither here nor there. But we did have a chance to finally see the trailer for Dora the Explorer. And I'm telling you what, it looks absolutely horrible. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, my God. Look, it's one thing to make. I understand you make some. Um, oh, hello, boy. Uh, sorry, my, the dog I'm dog sitting. Grizz is here. Hello, Grizz. Uh -huh. Anyway, um, he hears me talking. He comes running over. Anyway, I understand right. making movies for a younger demographic, sure. But we've seen lots of movies get made with you know kid properties and stuff like that. But you make them so they're good. See, mm -hmm. there's, there's it's not an ex mutually <laughs> exclusive thing, Ashley. It's not like you can only either make it for kids or you can make it good. And it's not like you have to make a choice. Mm -hmm. I, the biggest mystery to me right now is how the hell Michael Pena is an actor who is in high demand right now. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know that his career has ever been hotter than it is right now. How did they talk him into being in this? Because this looked... Now, I, granted, it is just a trailer. It's just a trailer. The movie might be awesome. We've seen lots of horrible trailers to great movies, lots of great trailers to horrible movies. I get that, and I'm very aware of that. But this looked absolutely dreadful, and you I don't know... I you don't do? know. No, you just watch it. You didn't hate it. You liked it. I you didn't thought it was okay. It. Well, I didn't. I okay. If I had kids, I would. I would be very happily surprised at this trailer. But like, I don't think I will just go by myself. But I thought it was lighthearted and fun. I giggled twice. I thought the girl, the lead girl, was cute, and uh, I liked how they kept. I liked the perspective of everybody at uh, that everybody had on her. Like they were like, "Oh, Dora, like she's a crazy girl," and you know, they all thought that she was like wild and crazy and a big adventurer. So. I don't know. It didn't. I didn't hate it. I thought it was like very like Disney kid PG appropriate. Uh, it was all of that. It was all of that, and horrible. But but <laughs> I, I mean, again, I am we'll speaking see. from a point of view. You raise up. You raise a really good issue there, Ashley. The fact that you know neither you nor I have kids, and maybe if I had kids, maybe I would look at it with a slightly different set of eyes. But mm -hmm. the question here is, guys, did you guys have a chance to check out this Dora the Explorer trailer? So what did you think? Um. Are you siding with Ashley on this? Are you siding with me? I, tell me what your thoughts are on this thing. I watch this and I went like, what? Anyway, jump down <laughs> the comment section below and let me know your thoughts.